Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Yeah, at any minute, my computer might crash because I'm running two programs side by side. I'm using my new monitor, and this it's clear as a bell. I mean, this SDR console, I didn't use so much because it was so hard to read. And I think it turns out that the monitor I was using before was actually a little fuzzy so it it wasn't so much my eyes it was the monitor with this new monitor everything's clear as a bell and so i'm running um chrome on the left side here showing the short-wave.info website and on the right side i'm running sdr console version 2.3 using my Fifi SDR and I think what I'm receiving that big fat signal you see there right here is um, 7.210 which according to this listing is the voice of Korea and it kind of sounded like that language let me turn it back up and let you listen for a few seconds or minutes or hours, whatever. Now, I have to be a little careful because they're uh, playing music, but I don't think I will get any problems because it's in some other language and it's I don't know what it is I can't tell what it is anyway so what I wanted to illustrate is the fact that with this new monitor it's a 21 inch monitor and I think it's well let's see let me get my ruler here it, the screen is there's 12 and 7 the screen is 19 inches that's not right at 12 and 7. Oh, yeah, 19 inches. I thought it was wider than that. Um, yeah, that's right, because the width is not how they measure the screen size. It's the diagonal. So that's where they get the 21. So um, it's working great. And the other thing is I've, um, I'm totally amazed now that I can see things on SDR console that I couldn't see before, of all the options that's in this program. Now I'm using the old version. I, I can't get the um, same information in the new one, uh, mainly because he's still uh, Simon is still working on the new one, adding things that he had in the old one, 2.3, plus more things. So I keep switching back and forth between version 3X, whatever he's working on now, and the old version 2.3, and this is build 21, or 2729. And now with this new monitor, I can have this SW, uh, excuse me, short-wave.info website open and looking at the map here and the listing of what's on while scanning through the bands using my SDR radio. Uh-oh. <laughs> One of my cats just brought me a lizard. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so, so that's what's happening. I'm surprised that I can run these two programs and my screen capture program all at the same time on this old computer. It's a old Dell quad core computer and uh, I'm amazed that SDR is not breaking up because I've done this before and SDR would, would it would be dropouts. And maybe it's because I have uh, it opened 
in a smaller screen. Maybe that's it. I'm also the Fifi SDR, the maximum bandwidth is only 102, no, 192 kilohertz. So it's not scanning as wide a band. Now when I use my RTL SDR, that will go up to 3 megahertz. And I, um, the, <laughs> the computer will definitely won't keep up with that and run something else. So that's what's happening. Um, I, I could use your help. I'm looking for a YouTube video that goes into details about the options of SDR console. I, I am totally lost with, or, or totally overwhelmed with all the things you can do with this program, and I, I'm struggling. Like it took me, I, I somehow lost the screen that had the volume control, so I couldn't figure out how to turn the volume up or down. So I fiddled around, and I finally found that you can, you go to layouts and select default, which will set it back to what Simon had it set up, which is what you're seeing now. And uh, it has this screen here, which has the volume control, which I haven't turned down all the way. So that part I finally figured out. The other part I haven't figured out is I think at one time I was able to get a keypad to come up as a little window and you could punch in the frequency. Right now I'm using this window here and using my mouse to uh, either go up or down in frequency. So that's how I'm doing it, which is kind of crude if you want to go to a specific frequency uh, like 8.9 get there in a minute 5 it takes a long time to do it this way Main, one of the reasons is the fact that the computer is overloaded. Um, I think these are, let's see, yeah, this is um, memory banks. So it's not a uh, keypad to select a frequency. I've done it before. Maybe it wasn't in this program. Maybe it was in version 3. I can't figure out how to do it in version 2.3. So if you have any suggestions uh, how to do that, or if you have seen a good detailed explanation on how to use SDR console you know, on another YouTube channel, please let me know about that. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll probably play with this tonight and um, see what I can receive. This configuration, the Fifi SDR and SDR console 2.3 gives me the best reception as far as sensitivity. I've used other programs and like I've used the program that came with the Fifi, which is the Fifi SDR program. Um, and it's not as sensitive. So something some adjustment is not right to get the maximum sensitivity out of that program. This afternoon I played with a whole bunch of different SDR control programs. I tried, matter of fact, I get the list right here. I tried SDR console version 2, version 3. They both worked. I tried the Fifi SDR program. It worked, but it wasn't as sensitive. I tried the Genesis radio. It worked, but it was a little quirky, but it was pretty sensitive. I could not get HD SDR to work. It, it wouldn't see the dongle. I used a, um, a driver program for it that I thought was the right one, but obviously it was not. 
I don't know if I have the right driver in its directory. I think that's what you have to do. So I couldn't get that to work. So those are the ones I tried this afternoon. And this one, the SDR console version 2.3, I like the best. So that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. You can either leave a comment or if you want to send me some suggestions directly, you can send it to my Gmail account, trrs73 at gmail.com. Bye-bye. I'm surprised this didn't crap.